It's a free kick to Falkirk. There's a great header, and it's McGibbon again! A perfect start for Falkirk. The header from Sam McGibbon in the 10th minute of the match. Well, the orthodox free kick, McGibbon getting up so well to rifle the header past John Martin. Oh, what a superb goal it was from McGibbon. And I make that his seventh goal before cameras this season. The free kick came from Alec Taylor, whistling across the face of the goal, and McGibbon timed it brilliantly to bullet home the header. Well, these Falkirk fans savouring the moment as McGibbon puts them ahead. Here's McGibbon and McQueen. Good possession play from Falkirk. That's Alec Taylor setting it up for McGibbon. Yeah! And that is brilliant play by Falkirk. The goal from Eddie May. Eddie May smiles as he congratulated Sam McGibbon for the pass. But that was a goal of supreme quality from Falkirk. Built up gently from midfield. That ball then flighted to Alec Taylor and on it down for Sam McGibbon. He was unselfish enough to pick out May for the back healer right in front of goal. Well, Eddie May has made such an impact for Falkirk since he arrived from Brentford. That's his fourth goal for the club and it puts Falkirk two ahead. It's well, one inside the box by Whittaker the first there's Conn running behind him. McQueen very sure-footed with that pass back. And yet we have altered their formation now as they throw everything into attack. They have pushed John Watson to a striking role. But here's Stainrod breaking for Falkirk. This could tie it up! Perfectly finished by Stainrod. That surely ties up the points for Falkirk. This was by the Falkirk captain. The long clearance catching out the end of defence. He took that on the drop, drilled the ball beyond John Martin to put Falkirk three in front. Well, wow, what a great piece of finishing by Simon Stainrod. This is his 15th goal of the season. One long ball catching out the end of defence. He looked up to himself for the right foot shot, and Martin was left helpless. from McPhee, headed on there by Watson as the final whistle goes the happiest of afternoons for Falkirk they've turned out to be convincing winners in the end despite great efforts made by Andrew. these Falkirk supporters travelling the country now consistently to support Falkirk's charge toward the Premier Division, Simon Stainrod the skipper led the line well scored the crucial third which tied up the game but Airdrie will be looking back on that missed penalty kick from Owen Coyle just one minute before Simon Stainrod tied the match up for Falkirk. So the applause ringing around Broomfield from these Falkirk supporters who march on towards promotion. The final score at Broomfield, Airdrie nil, Falkirk three. What's the secret of the Falkirk success, do you think? Uh, teamwork. We all work hard in training. We're all behind the manager and uh, a preparedness to, to get down to the, to the real graft and, and stick in together, and that's seen us through so far. Did you approach this game as one of the major hurdles before the end of the season? <clears throat> we approached it exactly the same we've, as we've approached all the games, and uh, that's with a, you know, a good professional attitude, and it, it's seen us through so far, and there's no need, need to change it just for one game. I noticed in the game, despite the importance of the occasion, you were still willing to offer one or two little tricks and circus acts which seem to upset the management team is that a part of your play well i've heard these circus acts but i, I define them as high skilled football <laughs> class sort of skills but uh you know you define them however you will from the point of view of skippering the Falkirk side do you think it's something which helps the rest of your teammates in tight positions uh i think so yeah uh, i mean generally the skippers come in, in the back four position or the center of midfield but uh 
uh, having played in, in a couple of countries, England and France, and, and played at the highest level, I think it's been a good move for the manager to, to, to make me captain. And it's, uh, I think it's, it, it's rubbed off on the other players, and, and we've all done well through, the, through this period of the season. There's a fair mixture of uh, experience and the youth in the side. How good do you think this Falkirk side is, comparing them with teams you've played in at the top level before? Uh, well, there's a way to go, yeah. I mean, we, we, we're a good side, but we're, we're really just building. You know, we've got to build, and, and if, uh, if luck uh, carries through and we, and we do go up, then we shall have to obviously add to the squad because we need a much bigger squad to compete in the Premier League, and uh, I'm sure that'll be a priority. Well, you were there for the Premier League? Uh, hopefully, yes, yes. Great, well done, thanks. Thank you. Shy retiring Simon Steenrod, <laughs> and again, some great entertainment there from the Scottish First Division. Derek. Yeah.